What is up guys? Welcome to the Computer Information Highway. This is your Java programming tutorial number 25. And in this tutorial, we're going to be we're going to be doing we're going to be filling out one of our functions. Um and I'm not going to really recap what we did too much. We just sort of have a menu and we got our main functions ready. Um so I'm just going to jump right into it cuz I think we have quite a bit to do. I have quite a bit to teach you for this one. All right. So we're not going to do call or find first because right now we don't have a uh, right now we don't have any way to store any of our information. We actually don't have a phone book to be getting information from. So we're going to do our save contact first. And if you remember save contact, this is the one where we're going to be giving us a name and a phone number and we're going to save it into a text file. So guess what guys? I'm teaching you file input output. Uh, so, in here in the save contact uh, function that we created, um, we need to we need to start working with a file. So, in order to do that, we can create an object called file, and this uh, this will let us start manipulating the file. It'll let us open or read a file, uh, give get us uh, permission information, um, and whether or not we can access it or not. And um, we're just gonna call this file. I know I'm really original. Equals new file. Just how you declare a new fun uh, a new object. And then we want the file. Let's see. What should we have it named? You know what? I'm feeling super original today, so we're just going to call it file.txt. Alright, and of course we got to import file, which is java.io.file and that'll just import for us right and then so we don't we don't this this doesn't create a new file for us it's telling us to use this file um but what happens if this file like doesn't exist what happens if uh they can't find it well we kind of need to be uh checking for that so we can do file dot exists and this will return a boolean telling us whether or not the file exists or not and if this normally returns true, I want it to return false to create a new file. So if the file does not exist, we are going to be creating a new file. And you see they have a file.create new fi uh, file method here. And this is telling us about an exception. So along with learning about files, we kind of have to like learn exceptions at the same time. We need to know how to try and catch certain exceptions and uh, just how we can give ourselves some more information, whatever it does. So to do try or to do a try catch, uh, to do a try catch situation, I don't, I guess that's what it's called. <laughs> we we just open up a bracket called try. Uh, I'm just gonna clean that up and then we close it around all of the code that we want to be trying, that we want to test, and then we write catch and this was telling us it doesn't say it here anymore but this was telling us that we needed to catch an exception called IO exception and basically what an exception is is if you try to do something that simply can't be calculated or can't be done uh, like dividing by zero if you try to divide by zero the computer the or the program is going to throw a divide by zero exception and it's going to break the uh, it's going to break the uh, the program and hopefully put it into a debugging mode so you can figure out why it's trying to throw this exception what the try does is the try will run the code and rather than breaking whenever uh, whenever the exception comes up it's going to catch the exception and in this case we're going to call it it's called an IO exception and we have to give it a variable name. I'm just going to call it E for convention's sake. Um, we can catch the exception that we're working with and whenever we do catch it we can do something that can be useful to us. So in this type of situation we want to know what what they what they're trying to tell us. So we can do system.out.println and just do E dot get message. And this is telling us that we need to import a uh, IO exception. So we're going to go ahead and do that. 
and that and that is how we can deal with it. Now the program's not going to quit on us. It's not just going to stop working. So let's move on. All right. So all right. So we've already checked to see if the file exists. Now we need to start writing to the file. And how can we do that? We need to type print writer because this is a new object that we're creating. This is going to allow us to write to something. Um, we need to give it a name. Uh, we can just call it pw equals new print writer. And it's going to take a, uh, it takes an argument, which is what you're trying to write to. And in this situation, we're trying to write to this file right here. So if we put file in here and finish that off and import our uh, import print writer, then this is going to work just like that. So now we have this print writer and we've already checked to see if the file doesn't exist and if it doesn't uh, it's going to create one. So now we need to start writing to this file and in order to do that it's really really easy. So we have something called uh, or we can start using some of the methods out of print writer. So if we go pw dot uh, print line this will let us print something out uh, or it will let us write something it'll print to this file right here and it will print an entire line it won't just stop after uh, it won't just continue one after another if you're trying to save multiple people so it'll go down one line every time in the text file and I'll show you this a little bit later too um, so now we can just fill this in with the information that we had, which is uh, the name and the phone number, right? So if we type name number, this is now going to give us a, uh, this is now going to give us a line uh, in Notepad that basically just shows up as like Alex M comma or colon one 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 two 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 three four five six and then it's going to go down the line so let's say there was like a uh, Susan F uh, it would be like two 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 three 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 four five six seven or something and that's just how that would show up in here um, and this is really all that this file is going to contain is information like this um, so whenever we're running this it's going to save that information uh, to that file um, but we have to make sure that we we finish using the file, so we need to close this after we're done with it. And I think we should be creating file outside of here, so that uh, should I throw it in the catch or let's just put it outside of here. We can do uh, print dot. I'm sorry. We can do file dot. Oh, I guess we don't need to close file. We just need to close the print writer. Um, so we can do pw dot close. So pw needs to be closed, um, but file does not. All right. So this is now. I think this is now going to save. This, I think it's now going to save it. So I think we can go ahead and test this out. Um, let's go. Let's hit play. See what happens. Uh, we were doing two, so we're going to be saving a file, or we're going to be saving contact. What's the name? How about Susan F? And the phone number was two 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 three 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 four five six seven. And it says that it saved. All right, I found it. So. Here it is, file Susan F two 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 three 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 four five six seven. And actually let's go ahead and check to see what happens if I just go ahead and run it again and try to add another name to it. Uh M and then we can just do one 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 two 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 three four five six. It says it added it, so 
Let's see if that is the case. So apparently it completely overwrote it. Which is interesting. So now I gotta figure out why. So after running this, I noticed that there was a little bit of an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that up for you guys because I don't want you to be too confused. Um, and it is going to be a little bit confusing at first, but just bear with me. So, you know how we can use this print writer to write to this file, but we were running into the issue where uh, I was running. I was running into an issue where it was only it was only actually writing one person. If you tried to open the file back up and write another person, um, it would overwrite the file. It would overwrite the person entirely. It would start at the beginning and overwrite. So. In order to fix this, we have to actually uh, we have we have to do a all right. So we're gonna need to do this right here. We're gonna hit new file writer file true parentheses, and it's gonna tell us to import this. So we are. And what's going on here is we're not just writing to a file we this is this is writing to some uh, this this is going to be writing to something and this is going to be processing what it is and exactly how it's going to put it out uh, into the file and it takes these parameters right here um, and you would do new file writer you don't need to give it a variable name if you're just using it for this instance of PW um, because this is what it's going to be writing to, but it's actually going to continue writing to the file. So the first one, the file right here, this is just the file that we created over here. And the true means append, and append mean, means go to the end of the file. And we want to go to the end of the file uh, so that we're not overwriting anything. So this is the change that I made, that I, that I wanted to make. Uh, and we'll run this again so that I can show you. Um, so I think it's F6. Cool. Two. Uh, let's do Susan F. At two 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 three 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 four five six seven. And it says exceeded. That's untitled. And then computer information highway file dot text. All right, you'll see Alex M, uh, Susan F, and Susan F. It's because I already put Susan F in here. Um, <coughs> like whenever I was testing it, I paused the video so that I could like figure out what was going on. Um, so if I actually delete everything in this file and run this program again, um, you'll see that it's saving Susan F and we could run this file one more time and then we can do that and now we have both me and Susan in here so that's where I'm going to be ending this video off so I will see you guys in the next video um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video oh one more thing before I go, because I know I did it again, and I'm really bad about this. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.